welcome back to our channel today I am here with another pregnancy update we are actually oh gosh 30 weeks pregnant now so as of yesterday yeah oh that's crazy like 30 weeks I don't know it's just really weird for me because we weren't trying to get pregnant and this baby she is a huge surprise to us which is fantastic like we wanted to have a baby um and then like the beginning of our pregnancy was so uncertain so to be 30 weeks pregnant is crazy um so let's see we will go ahead and get into symptoms that i'm having um i have no air <laughs> Um, that's been a common problem throughout my entire pregnancy, but really now, I really have no air. Um, I'm watching my dog try to get like a squirrel or something on top of our shed out there. He's so weird. Anyways, so I have no air. I have no space. I'm really uncomfortable all the time. Um, I'm having a lot of like hip, tailbone pain. Um, a lot of acid reflux especially at night. Um, what else? I'm not sleeping well. You know, you got the tosses and turns and you have to pee all the time. And as a diabetic, I have to pee like all the time anyway. So now it's like just 20 times worse. Um, <laughs> and then I've hit what they call in pregnancy with diabetics, the third trimester wall. And basically what that means is now my insulin intake is just like, like, going off the charts um so i'm having to be more careful about what i'm eating and how much insulin i'm having to use and things like that um and really monitoring my blood sugars a little better a lot better because not saying that i wasn't monitoring them before i was but i have to keep an even closer eye on them now simply because they're just crazy um no matter what i seem to do they seem to be high anyway so we're dealing with all of that um yeah so exciting things let's see let's talk about weight gain overall in this pregnancy I have literally gained let's see I mean I'll just tell you I was 209 when I got pregnant and I'm at 225 now so it really has not been that much weight gain which is I don't know good and bad I don't know um, <laughs> I guess it's good um, the doctor says my weight gain's good, so I guess that's fine. Um, I just remember gaining so much more with Matthew. Like, I started out at like 160 with Matthew, and I was 200 pounds by the end of it. So, I don't know, it just seems crazy to me to have only gained, you know, this small amount of weight so far. And we're almost done. Um, let's see. She is a wild woman, this baby. She hates when I lay on my right side. She goes absolutely bonkers when I lay on my right side. And I keep telling my husband that. And last night he really felt it. Um, yeah, she just, she's not a fan. Um, what else? She's doing really well. She's, um, her heart rate has stayed in about the same, I don't know what my husband's doing. Her heart rate has stayed in about the same level, about 149, 150, um, pretty much the entire pregnancy. Um, she is a mover and a groover, but she likes to stay in one spot. Like, her body is in one position, but she moves in that spot a lot, um, <laughs> which I'm not complaining about. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, let's see. What else? Last time we had her measured was at 27 weeks, I do believe, and she was weighing around 2 pounds 11 ounces. Um, we'll probably, they'll probably measure her again at our 31 week appointment, um, which is, or I guess technically it's our 30 week appointment because it's Monday, um, and we swap over on Wednesdays, but anyways, so that's where we're at with that. Um, we have swapped with my OB. We are now going every other week. And with my specialist, we're going about every other week. Um, I've been 
sick with a stomach bug for the last four days, five days. And so I'm going again. I went Monday and I'm going again next Monday simply because I've been so sick. Once I hit 32 weeks, I will be going to my specialist two days a week. And then um, I'll be going to... Um, once July gets here, I'll be going to my OB once a week. So I'll have three appointments every single week. Um, yeah, that's exciting. Um, our baby shower is coming up, which is super duper uber exciting. I cannot wait to celebrate this little girl with my closest friends and family. It's just really... She is a blessing and a big miracle to us because we just did not think that it was going to happen. We just didn't think so. So it's a big deal. Um, our baby shower is the 17th so of June. So we've got like 16 days left and then it'll be here. That's crazy. Um, we are almost done with her nursery. And I mean literally almost done with her nursery. The only thing that we have left to do in that room is to paint the dresser. The drawers are already painted. Um, and so it's really just like the main hub of the dresser that just needs to be painted. The weather has been really ridiculous around here though. Like it's sunny for like two days and then it rains for like five. And so we haven't had the ability to get the whole dresser out there and get it painted and let it set long enough because of the weather. So um, we're hoping next week we'll be able to get that accomplished and then get that put in the room and it'll all be done and then it's just waiting on things to come in from the baby shower and for us to buy the last few items that she needs. Um, my mother-in-law sewed the cushions for the chair so that's all done. Just super exciting um, and I love it. We went with a color we were not planning on going with at all but it looks so good. Um, so yeah, I don't know, I don't know if that vlog, the last getting ready for baby vlog is up yet. I think it is. So if it is, I'll link it up below for you so you can really see. I feel like I'm like squatty. Anyways, um, I'll link it above and below for you so you can check that out. It's the last like big views of the nursery that you're going to get until I post the nursery tour which is coming up I think I think it's the 22nd of June is when the nursery tour is going live um I'm sorry my nose is itching so yeah I'm pretty certain that's when that's going live um let's see other things happening as far as the baby goes. I really don't think that there's much. Um, we are just kind of riding the last few weeks out and um, just seeing when she decides to make her appearance. We are having a c-section um, but we haven't like we're not setting a date necessarily. We are just going to go into our appointments every week and see what he says if he thinks that it's good enough then then we're good enough um if we go into labor then he's going to go ahead and send us over for the c-section you know it's just it's almost as much of a surprise as if we were like vaginally delivering um just because i wanted that experience like with matthew we were induced and like i knew when his date was I like the idea of a surprise and nobody really knowing when she's coming and when she's going to make her appearance. Um, so yeah, that's exciting to me. Um, let's see, what else? I really don't think that there's anything else. Um, you know, when I first got pregnant, I thought I was going to do vlogs, like pregnancy updates, way more often. But I just haven't felt the need to. There hasn't been anything like crazy going on. You know, I don't have to do a blood glucose test, obviously, because I'm already diabetic and we already know that. Um, you know, things are pretty, pretty steady. Um, it's been a difficult pregnancy, but I am thrilled to be pregnant, despite the fact that it's been such a difficult pregnancy. Um, third trimester is always hard because you're like at that home stretch and you're so ready. 
Um, also, you know, diabetics tend to have more um, third trimester death as far as their babies. And so that's a little worrisome for me. Um, so I've been a little more on edge, a little more anxious, um, ready just to get these last few weeks over, ready for her to come. <laughs> um, I keep bartering with her though. I'm like, give me like three more weeks, three and a half more weeks, and then you can come if you really want to. So, um, <laughs> but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Okay, so here she is. <laughs> She is out and proud, let me just say. Here's, like you can even tell I'm pregnant from the front now, like this. Oh, here comes Crazy Dog. Go get in your room. <laughs> anyway, so here's the front and then here's the other side. She big. I don't know. I'm gonna be huge by the time she comes out. <laughs> So yeah, there she is. Oh, and I was going to tell you, my belly button has almost popped out. Like, the top, like, half of my belly button is out. It's almost there. If I lay, if I lay on my back and I laugh, the whole thing pops out. Doesn't it, honey? Yeah. The whole thing pops out. So, it's pretty disgusting. But yeah. So there you go. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will link our other pregnancy updates above and below for you and I will see you next time. Bye guys!